Hi Shamrikta. Uh, we know that you are launching a book. So please tell us about the book on this auspicious uh, International Women's Day. Well, hi Oindrila. Nice to have you here with us and hi Shanjoy also. Hello. Uh, so yeah, it's auspicious. Uh, happy that you use the term auspicious uh, on behalf of the Paleontological Association UK. Uh, I had a fund uh, called the Museum on the Wheels, and uh, we plan to launch a book uh, called uh, One Flew Over the Gondwana Vertebrates, which focuses on the Indian Gondwana fossils, the fossils we excavate, the dinosaurs, especially for the kids, for little children who are interested in dinosaurs. And the concept, the inspiration behind this comes from. Uh, two little characters. One is Putty and one is Lichi. And well, Putty uh, is one of my childhood days as my guide used to, or my supervisor used to call me Putty. And Lichi, well, none other than you, Oindrila. It's inspired by you. Uh, and when I see young kids in my educational outreaches, in my teaching, both in India and abroad, there is a rat race to run into medical science, engineering, into the corporate or the normal more more uh, common fields where people have this idea that they would earn more but stem science science technology engineering mathematics and medical science are all integrated together there is no one particular science to explain this fact through the book in a fancy way introducing fossils because fossils are not only dinosaurs and kids do have this idea that they i love dinosaurs but when i show them a fish fossil so oh, that's what is that so entirety to explain the concept in a fun filled way and how to learn excavation in different basins of india the gondwana basins this is a short uh, i would uh, tell uh, exploration on behalf of our team uh, which you are also a very integral part of it to introduce and launch on this special day the international women's day which is the one flew over the Gondwana vertebrates and I would request everybody who is viewing this book to please have a copy, give it to your kids and inspire them to STEM science. Every woman, children, men alike should come forward for science itself because science is what it will uh, proceed in the future days that will take the society forward. So yes, fingers crossed for the book and uh, thank you the entire team. Thank you Shanjay, thank you Indrila. For your immense support without you it wouldn't have been possible and please please try to have the book with you it is not charged it's a free book sponsored by the paleontological association of uk and i'm very privileged thankful thankful to them to have the grant uh, the museum on the wheels and so please grab a copy very soon and for the copy you can directly write to me or you can say what you about it any more questions tell us why did you choose this day, International Women's Day, to launch your book? Uh, well, to be very honest, um, I, I'm very attached to the concept of women uh, progressing more towards science because I don't think there is any special job for women or men. It's just the inspiration which should carry forward. But till today, I have seen that globally, not only in India, globally, there is a far more dropouts when it comes to STEM science among women. It might be various causes, might be look after the family, might be to look after their children, might be because of peer pressure, socio-economic pressure. Many women do face it these days. I mean, then how should we motivate them? And I think the children are the future. So when this video goes to children or to parents of children, it's my request that treat your child whether a man or a woman, to be man or a woman, whether a girl child or a boy child, to be like brave enough and to go forward for excavation in the remotest field areas, to excavate among snakes and scorpions, among the tigers, among in the forests. Because I know many girls who want to be uh, good excavators, study archaeology, geology, paleobiology, but the biggest question in this, paleo, uh, in this uh, socio-economic context will be, uh, you won't earn money. Well, I also come from a humble background, but I was brave enough and I feel my story should be and can be an inspiration for children, parents of children, teenagers to be brave enough, courageous enough as a woman to move forward, whatever be the consequence, whatever you face. And therefore, I launched this book on Women's Day to be an inspiration and for gender equality and gender equality will come only 
when we women come forward more because then it will eradicate the biases present so i hope i can answer your question and happy women's day wendula to you too thanks for being one of the strongest ladies that i have seen